definitely if there is a slowdown in the economy, especially U.S., uh, we think that there might be some conservatism out there. People might adopt a wait and see approach. Uh, but largely, I think for Asia, because you have the emerging economies, the broadband penetration rate is still not saturated yet, the demand will still be there. Um, people might slow down the decisions in which to buy, but I think overall they will still continue to uh, invest in the long term. So uh, for those critical areas, I think IT investment and IT spending will still see quite a robust growth. Security is a very key area and I think that especially today when you have uh, more and more key value chain activities going online, you have more uh, information processing the various uh, key activities, let's say for a bank for example, or even for e-commerce. Um, security is a prime concern. So um, these are the areas that uh, we see continued investment in and I believe that despite the slowdown, um, the investment will still continue in this area. I think first of all, if you're creating a security solution for the market, it must have some unique selling proposition. It must uh, address a very important area of the uh, you know, information or processes that you're trying to protect. Okay, so the key reason why you want to do that is you do not need to educate you know, the customers on why they need a solution and I think that's very important. The advantage and the benefits of the security solution uh, must be very tangible and very visible to the end customer. So um, it also translates to how you um, provide the solution or how the solution is in place. Like you could have visual cues to allow the consumer to see that you know, it's, it's being active, it's being activated, or it can have uh, tangible outcomes like important analysis or reports to the enterprise. I think finally, one important thing is that if you're going to uh, provide a new security solution, it's very important that it should integrate uh, with the existing enterprise infrastructure because the last thing you want to do is also to convince the customer that you must uh, invest in new hardware or there's a lot of change management required. I think part of the problem is they have this uh, thinking or the false impression that it may not happen to them but um, today so many uh, you know processes are online you know computerized even if you're a small company if you lose confidential information to competitors or there's a data integrity issue it will definitely affect the uh, business activities or the company's uh, bottom line even so uh, one of the important areas is definitely uh, changing the mindset uh, part of that has to be you know, more awareness into the security problems and I think that's where the media and the publications can play a role. On the other hand, I think probably government regulation might play a role as well. Uh, for example, I think in China you do have specific uh, new law out there that states that if your uh, company is involved in certain key activities like finance or banking, uh, you must have uh, certain firewalls or certain uh, gateways to control access to the enterprise. I think similar appropriate policies from the government side could uh, you know, encourage or even motivate uh, smaller firms to invest in IT security. If you look at today's you know, data access, for example, you have wireless networks out there. They're relatively open. Um, they can be a point of compromise to the enterprise uh, network. I think uh, one important area is secure open access networks. So secure wireless uh, networks. You also need to look at simple things like password policies. Make sure that your administrator knows uh, where the password is uh, and only they have access to the uh, password of the key uh, critical systems. Um, at the same time, if uh, staff leave the company, for example, you don't lose the information as well. Obviously, you need to um, plan and uh, review the uh, company's uh, security policies, whether are they in place, whether they've been enforced and followed even if uh, people leave or if the um, you know people who are in charge of certain areas change. So I would say that if you have a policy you must always continually monitor and review as well to make sure that it's being enforced. Um, I think today the one of the main keywords is mobility. So you have uh, you know employees and you have agents of the company they're getting more and more mobile they have their computing needs outside of the enterprise. So I think one of the key challenges is balancing that security 
and the mobility at the same time because higher security usually means less convenience but at the same time mobility means that you're more productive because you have the convenience of the connectivity so like for example today you may have executives who are trying to access the corporate network when they're traveling but often they are very restricted because um, administrators do not want them to be a source of compromise if they're trying to come in from the outside so I think one of the key challenge will be balancing mobility to enable productivity to be the highest but at the same time maintaining uh, as much security as possible so future solutions definitely must address that in mind uh, when you know more and more people are doing transactions even business activities online